So, how is it going, you sexy, sexy people? And look, we're going to start off by doing a little bit of housekeeping after my failed attempt at a live yesterday. And look, you've all heard that saying, it's not you, it's me. And yes, it was me. It was my internet. So not anything to do with you guys. And hopefully the issue has now been rectified. We shall see on Sunday when I attempt to do the mental health live. Be there. So, look, anybody who comments on this video will get entered in to a draw to win this. No, not this one. The other hoodie, the harsh hoodie, the shawl neck hoodie with harsh. I digress on it. You will be entered. I will be doing a random comment picker at some point tomorrow and you will win. So you've got 24 hours, just probably just over 24 hours to drop a comment down below and you'll get entered into that. You will literally be taking the clothes off my back. Doesn't mean I'm going to be doing videos naked from now on because I do have other hoodies, but yes, you'll be taking a hoodie from me. And video two today, video two are for the people who entered the iPhone giveaway. So if you sent me an email, if you have sent me an email already, and you have sent me the code, the four-digit code, I want you to comment, email sent. That's all you've got to put, email sent, and I'm going to do a random comment picker on that on Sunday during the live. And what I want you to do is when I tell you who you are, you've won, I want you to email me and thank me for letting you win because I'm an amazing person, and I will deal with you then because that should then tie in the email thread together because you'll you'll send me another email and your email will pop up with that number on it do you know what i mean what an absolute ball lake of a giveaway and i do apologize the next one will be somewhat easier this has been a complete and utter clusterfuck and that is my fault um but anyway, onwards and upwards, someone will get a phone out of it, and or if you don't want the phone, we're going to arrange someone else. But comment on video number two, email sent, and random comment picker, and then I will email you back when you email me. <laughs> Even this is being complicated. <laughs> Just fucking comment on the video. Ah. <sighs> So what are we talking about? There's been another, this case, the Idaho 4 case, is just the case that keeps on giving. Just keeps on giving. Just when you think that there's nothing else to say, nothing else to do, but wait until June and find out what's going to be happening, what's going to what's, what's gonna be brought out into the public eye. Something else does come out, and it's in the form of another secret meeting. Another secret meeting. How many more secret meetings can these people have and this was referenced again apparently regarding the conflict of interest with ann taylor and she has dropped an utter bombshell and now people are going to wonder whether she is just talking shit because it does make me wonder whether she is indeed talking shit because she's claiming that she has never met zana canodal now zana canodal not Zana Canodal, you fucking idiot. Zana Canodal's mum, Cara Norvington, or she changed her name when all this kicked off. So, yeah, she is claiming she's never met Zana Canodal's mum. How about that then? She's saying that the only reason that her name is on all of the documentation is because she is the head. She's the leader, the boss, the big boss lady of the public defender's office. And by default, her name is all over her. But she's never met her. She's never offered her any legal advice. And in fact, Cara Norvington had a completely different defense. She said she had different representation. So therefore, that is why there is no conflict of interest. That is why the judge went, and we, you're right. And that is why Koberger turned around and went, yeah, I'm good with that. I'm fine. Probably didn't say it like that. I've not heard him really speak, but I can imagine something in the realms of, yeah, I'm happy with that. First female he's actually been happy with, it would say, if you're led to believe what people are saying out there, he's got a problem with females, remember? That's what they're pushing. 
So, there you go. In a nutshell, we have Ann Taylor, who is basically saying, there is no conflict of interest, because I don't know who the fuck you're talking about. And people are now starting to question, well, hold on a second, then why did they send police to Cara Norrington and say, oi, look, you see that picture? Have you seen her before? Is that someone you recognise? And all that stuff come out, you know, and say, you know, you, know, <laughs> you do know. So... Is she, is she telling the truth? Who's lying? Who's telling the truth? Who's lying? Because this now makes an even bigger mess of the situation because if that now does turn out to be a lie and it all goes south for or south in the eyes of Coburg, he could turn around and say, well, you're all full of shit. You're all, fu you're all lying. You're all lying and I got stitched up and I got stitched up and you made me get found guilty for something I shouldn't have got found guilty for. People are going to have to start getting their ducks in a row because at the minute the ducks are kind of all over the place. You've got a duck here, you've got one over there, you've got one up there somewhere and one down there. It's like a mess and they need to sort it out. This is not something that they can play with. You know, we make a joke, we try and make it a little bit more lighthearted because it gets dark, gets horrible when you're talking about these cases. But in all seriousness... What the fuck is going on? Let me know down below, and I'll catch you all in the next one.